All right, let's get started again on the next few rounds around. Point-wise, we're nowhere near. Uh, four, or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is where we are. That's where we were before. The game does kind of snowball, and it ends quicker than you maybe expect from the beginning, but that's like a lot of these <coughs> slower building euros, where you start out, making some choices and then as you go along more happens got an eight holland and Flandron. as you can see this has very very limited effect on play uh two for blue one for red it's just an extra slow trickle of income to help keep you in the game even if you spend all your money and don't have any resources uh, that are particularly valuable. Chances are though you've got at least one thing you can sell here, right? But now blue only has three bucks. Well obviously I have to turn that three bucks into some money. I'll turn it into a yellow off my gill because oh that didn't work out well. Okay, so I have a gray guild that I can't spend. I have a yellow card that I could sell. There's nobody terribly interested in bidding on a yellow card, though. I'm really kind of worried if I put it up for bid, Red will get it for a half buck or something. Eh, probably somebody will bid a buck on it on the chance that it's a five bucker or, well yellow here has at least a gray they could match it but most of the players don't have a lot of value to that uh, card to the to getting a yellow card unfortunately i have nothing else i can do and i want to advance forward so i'm going to put it for auction yellow red will certainly pay a half buck for it let's see if anybody else is willing to go above that green goes to a buck Red will definitely go to a buck and a half. Remember, these suckers cost three bucks each using my own ability. I don't mind giving some cash there. And it's really not worth two bucks to green. So Red picks up a yellow card. And now Red doesn't have any cash to capitalize this at all. So they're in kind of a yucky position themselves. That uses this up. Blue doesn't have enough to capitalize its guild. So they he's done. We'll go to red. Red gets a seven. Brabant and Limburg. Brabant gives two bucks to blue. And Limburg is our empty area. Well, an empty area. Red's got nothing. But they can sell some elements off. Uh, they can't sell that, and that's not terribly useful to them. Although they could build up eventually to getting something. Do they want to sell their blue? If they sell that, there's a couple of people interested in it. Who's interested in the yellow? They'll probably get the same kind of money back that they put into the yellow. So yeah, I'm going to try to auction off the blue even though that hurts my chances of getting it. Green is definitely going to pay a half buck for it. The question is, is yellow? Yellow goes to a buck. Blue is not terribly interested in it. They'd have to get into a new area to go into the new world. So green, well, green will definitely go a buck and a half. Will yellow go to two? Yeah. Green goes to two and a half. Yellow's out of money now. And actually, since cash is open, it would have been... Eh, there I go again. It would have been an interesting idea to not... Uh, to bid immediately exactly what they have. So I get another wild card. That's a good purchase. And red doesn't have enough money to do anything here. I can move some pieces, but that, that doesn't help. So I'm going to have to pass my turn as well. And that was flipped over. 
So now we go to green. Friesland and Brabant. Friesland, I gotta remember that. Uh, Brabant, two bucks for blue. He's been getting regularly lucky. And Friesland, two bucks for green. Makes up for what he spent on this. Well, obviously, I want to trigger that. I should get this up. I probably want to trigger the green. Or not the green, the, the uh, blue here to get more in there. Real question comes, well, I got another blue here, so I might be selling off a blue. All right, well, first things first, let's get our spices or whatever. And we get a quick score, seven bucks. And these cards are really worth it. It's just they take some investment to get out there. You can see you had to play out the blue cards to make it there. But once you get there, you've got better cards than anyone else on the board. And that turns this. I want to buy a blue card. Now, I wish I could buy two blue cards because this next one's guaranteed to match, which means I'm slipping in there. And I'll get this three buck one. I'm gonna pay that three bucks to trigger another card. I get another seven. Those are nice just because they're giving me the quick turnaround. I don't have piles of cash where a, a long-term uh, investment is worth more. Okay, uh, I definitely want to buy my other blue card. I want to keep everybody else out of there as long as I can. There's another wild card, that's sweet. And, well, I might want to work towards getting more of the territorial power. Right now, there's two ways I could do that. Uh, well, there's only one way. <laughs> no matter what I do, I've got to follow this route if I'm going to do, if I'm going to grab territories in, uh, in the Netherlands itself. And I think that's the best I can do. So I'm going to spend four bucks to grab this. Now it's actually important that I do this now because sometime soon I'm going to be out of these discs if I'm the guy keeping picking those things up. Uh, so if I'm going to make these of any value, unless I'm buying off of someone like yellow, this is the best that I can do. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough money afterwards. I want to take that move back. I think I've read this. The reason is, if I don't have enough cash to build another piece, uh, I may lose my advantage here right away. So I'm just gonna hold cash. Holding cash doesn't seem to hurt you in this game. Worst comes to worst, I can bid on something, and hell, maybe this is gonna go up for sale. Uh, that's kind of an interesting the, the green land thing is an interesting way to generate money just because there are people at this point who want those tokens. So I'll hand it off to yellow. And I'm rolling way over here so you can't see it. Uh, nine pips. Gelderland and Vanderland. Two and one. And Gelderland... Looks like two for yellow, two for green. Okay. Might have to use some other coins. I understand the uh, amount of coins in the game doesn't hold up well in small no in in the full table. All right. So yellow has this. Dude, here, I'd like to make some money. 
how do I want to make money? Well, in the long run, I may want to position myself in one of these. However, that's a big expense right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend a buck and start throwing coins on there. That's a big six victory points. I get that, I'm at 14. Yeah, that's not very close, but... Uh, do I want to buy the gray card and sell the green power? Or do I want to see if I can sell a gray card? And buy a green and buy the green power. I think maybe in the long term I'd like to get my greens out there, but I think I want to see what happens if I spend my three bucks. And I get another governorship. So that's another victory point. Actually, I forgot about that. That's 15, 16 victory points once I get that artist commissioned. Um. Yeah, I'm going to sell Holland, the product from Holland now. Now, this is interesting to blue. It's interesting to red. It's interesting to green. To what degree? Well, hard to tell. Uh, but it costs five bucks to do one on your own. So, if I look at the cash, that's three and a half. Green's got more money. But uh, quite a bit more. There's a fiver in there. I may want to just jump to three and a half with blue. Nah. I'll go to a half buck. Does red want to jump all the way up? Yeah, red's going to their three and a half just to get this up there. Uh, green probably wants this for four if they can get it and they'll go. Will blue go to four and a half? Yes. Will green go to five? Now, we figure that's what it's worth, and we're doubling the income by giving him all this cash. So that's four and a half. Blue gets one of these. Now, the wording of the power says, and this is the only reason it should, it, it, it seems to make any sense that it would be worded this way, that you can immediately turn these in. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna grab Flandern. We don't get to use the power because it's someone else's turn, but we've just added another uh, another territory to our holdings. Okay, now yellow's got piles of money, but they got nothing really to do with it. Is there something we want to do? Hmm. We would like to go a seafaring because we already have a card for that. If we spend four on that though, we don't have the cash left to actually buy the seafaring option, so we'll hold our money. And we go on to blue. And what I like about this is the decisions don't require a whole hell of a lot of thought. You can think some broad decisions like, yeah, I want to aim for the, uh, you know, the foreign markets. I want to get them good. They're kind of risky though. You can see red kind of crapped out on them. Whereas, and, and because of going with that, they're not actually moving forward with this. Red's just crapping out for some reason. They have actually a really nice setup, in my view. Okay, on to blue. Four. Zealand and Friesland. First, I gotta check these. Friesland that goes here. Green gets two bucks for Friesland. Red gets two bucks for Zealand. I don't have a whole lot of cash here. I really want to trigger my guild or guilds because those are things I can't score by auction so we'll see if I can get some cash here I should be guaranteed some 20 big bucks that's the kind of numbers I wanted to talk about and this is the thing you start getting this kind of pile of money and you're not gonna run out of money as easily now you still can. I mean, there's a lot of options here, but not a lot of things you can do. All right, so that killed one of those. What else do I have? Well, I have another yellow. I'd like to trigger that for myself because that's how you get your cash in the game, right? At least how blue gets their cash. I get another 12 bucks. I'm feeling pretty rich. 
Alright, that's my two yellows. I got some grays to play with. I would rather trigger them off. And then once I use the stuff that I've already paid for, then I can worry about other stuff. I get a semen card. And that's this gray. I get a ship. Hmm. I'm pretty close to getting the boat. Seems like a good idea. I can buy that for five. And I go in there. Let me make sure that money goes to the bank. I think it does. Um, yeah. All right, so now I've taken this. Well, for three bucks, I get a shot at a boat. I got a set. This is my last chip. A lot of these are paid up on guilds, though. Guilds are kind of cool. Four bucks for one of them is better. I want this for income rather than um, just for the extra victory points. So I grab one of these. And I get a quick seven bucks. Nice little mechanical action going on here. You can see how powerful you get once you have a lot of these. Now what? Hmm. I could start to buy more, uh, invest in more uh, property over here. I would have to give up one of these once I actually take a property. I'm not sure there are ones that I really want to give up, but an artist seems like a good investment overall. I don't want the green because I don't have enough discs left. So yeah, let's invest in an artist. Or not an artist. Um, let's invest in... Oh, shit. Let's not. Um, yeah, I can't grab another guild without giving up one of my guilds. So I think I'm pretty much stymied here with a pile of money left. That's not... Uh, too unenviable a position to be in. I've just run out of things to do. But I got plenty to bid with if anything comes up for bid. Everybody gets a buck. A lot of people make a comparison to Monopoly. I'm not sure quite why. If what they mean is this roll and move on the board, you know, the effect that that has on play is so limited. It's just this promise of, of that you're going to get a reasonable amount of income dr drilling, uh, drifting into your hands. If they mean the cards, well, that's not really like Monopoly. And you have a lot of choices as to how, uh, as to which cards you're gonna get. You might get, a bonus you might get an advantage like being able to you know get your early set out there or something and that can be a big jump i'm not convinced that's the only way to win though that's the riskier way to go about it if you get lucky and i think green has gotten pretty lucky it can give you a lot but if you get kind of unlucky like red has you may not have the best of circumstances and that's yes luck is a factor but choosing certain conditions may make luck more important to you. Anyway, let's look at what Red wants to do. Red wants to get out to the water, and they really want to get out there. They also would like to score their points uh, for their yellow, though. So we'll spend three for that and grab us a yellow. We get a quick 12 bucks, that's nice. It's funny because in uh, you know, more than two players, you always kind of want to match up. Not matching up means you're delaying what you're getting. But if you're playing in a two-player game and you both are drawing from from the pile, uh, not matching up or not matching up means the other person probably isn't going to either, which is kind of cool. Um, all right. Well. 
I have this green that unfortunately if I want to score it I don't want to do it now I can't turn it into any money or anything where do I want to put it I'll put it up in Utrecht because that's easier to get to now I'm gonna put it in over jizzle because I I don't know it doesn't make a difference they're equally far away I don't want it in Limburg all right, but now I get cash from either of these uh, places. Uh, my money's beginning to run low again. I still have an action. I have one of these. I want to buy it. Ah, another crappy ass ship. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's none too good. Well, now. I think I'm running out of good things to do. I could move my piece up, but I don't know that I'm going to end up in any particular place. So I don't want to spend the money on it. Um, I could spend on grabbing a guild position, but I don't have enough cash to use it. So I pass the turn to green. Drown again and over jizzle. That looks like three bucks for red. Let's check my governors. And I'm not zooming away here because there's nothing to do but watch the mechanics in action in this game. Um, it's just a situation that comes up with a lot of these euros is it's there's no story to look at. I'm enjoying playing this one. It's just I don't have this great you know, idea, I thought this was going to be more about politicking in the Dutch territories uh, mixed with this merchant type thing. And really what it is is uh, a chip flipper because there aren't cubes to push, right? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what the game's about. It's not a bad game. I enjoy it, but there's no story here that's worth paying attention to. All right. So we go on. Let's see what does green want to do? Well, green wants to make some money. Green would like to get one of these and push in. Now, they may be buying yellows again, uh, in which case I'd probably want to at least pay a buck to push into Utrecht or more uh, aggressively into Overjizzle. But I could lose that fight. And I don't see a reason to pick on red. Um, I have decent amounts of cash. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay like two bucks and grab my spice. See what that comes out. I get a second one of these. That's a lot of money there if I can get that. Let's see if I can grab that. Three bucks there grab a spice. It seems best to go for the income first. Oh, crap out. Okay. Now, I've only got one boat. I got booted out of here, it looks like. Let's invest in my boat. I'm not sure it's terribly important right now, but getting more of these is, of course, going to be valuable in the long run. Now I do not have a lot of money. And the question is, do I want to spend a buck to do this? I'm going to do it on the chance that I think I can get yellow's card. I got to hope I get two bucks, though, because otherwise I can't start funneling money. Here I'm guaranteed to make money. I'll either draw a three, a two, or a one. So as long as I keep two bucks, I'm guaranteed to be able to do things next turn, at least some level of things. All right, uh, yellow, you know, 11. Holland and Zealand. It's yellow and red. And what does yellow want to do? Yellow's actually got a decent amount of money. First thing they want to do is they want to spend a buck on their artist. They're getting that for cheap. Uh, Position-wise, 
Let's buy a gray card and see what we get. Gray cards are weird because they're so random. We get Utrecht, another, another victory point and another buck. I really ought to look at my victory points at some point. I may take a little pause uh, at the end of this turn and count them all up, but I don't think I'm anywhere near. Um, okay. And that was this. I got a green left. Um, I have five bucks. Do I want it? I mean, it can still give me a four victory point location. Or do I want to convert that in, do I want to put it up for auction? It's valuable right now to other people. Now, each of these things is worth like one victory point. Right. Yeah, each of those is worth one victory point. So I'll be able to produce them later and they'll be worth something to me. But it would be kind of cool to get something that's worth owning. On the other hand, five extra bucks, what could I do with that? I could grab a guild position in, I don't know, probably it would be the boats. That would cost me eight bucks. I have enough money to do that and it would push me a position forward. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna spend the five I'm trying to challenge there. It would be better to challenge green, but I just don't want to, uh, I don't want to take the higher risk option. I think I've got my own route to victory that may be as good as greens. That's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, all right, let's do a quick count of victory points. Blue is at 4, 8, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Red is at 4, 5, 6, 10. That looks like it. Green is at 4, 5, 6, 16. No addition. Yellow is at 4. Five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and some coming. <laughs> Slowly. All right, let's go around at least once more. Blue gets seven. Over Jizzle and Limburg. Over Jizzle is a yellow and a red. None of those. Limburg, nobody's out. All right, blue's money. Well, we're more likely to convert yellows than we are the spices. The spices look like longer term investments for us. So for three bucks, I don't want to do that one. I want to do this one, just in case I want to sell. I get five bucks. All right, at this point, it's not so clear that a yellow is a better move. So I'll spend the four bucks on my spice. I definitely want to collect these up. They're worthwhile. Okay, I got a big one. I'll spend three bucks on my other yellow. Try to collect cash off that. I get a big one. Yeah, oh. Oh, I'll spend, hmm. see this is hard, do I spend on the boat, do I spend on the grays, I'll spend on a gray, I get a boat flag, now comes the question, do I spend on another boat, on another gray, I think so. Basically just cranking all my cards. I get Brabant, that's a victory point at least. Well, I'll buy a boat. As long as I have this, I might as well score it. 
got a good chance of getting another shipping contract question then becomes do I want this with the extra victory point or do I want to generate more money all right well I'm tapped out of things and I don't have a whole hell of a lot of money so I don't want to move into a merchant's guild and I also don't have any more chips this is one problem with my boat situation I'll have to lose one of my guilds I'll probably take the shipping guild uh, because that doesn't really serve any purpose unless uh, as long as the chips there yeah it, unless I have more chips I want to move out and these guys are doing me good service here maybe they'll do me something somewhere else go to red oh three Limburg and Utrecht now we just got something that's Brabant Utrecht is here and who owns Utrecht Green gets two bucks for his Utrecht holdings. What's red at? Hmm. Well, red would like to claim this this turn before yellow sleezes into it. Uh, so that becomes kind of an important goal for red. Unfortunately, yeah, we'll do it. All right, so five bucks. We spend this. We drop one in here. A buck and a half. We move up here and grab over just We can always sell things to other people. All right, now we need to do our boating. Actually, before we do our boating, let's see if we got more cash. We do need to do the boating now. We just get one of those. Okay, so now the question is, do we do our boat or do we... Well, we want to do the boat. And we're going to have to rent out an artist, I think. But we need to collect up on. Oh, God. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, all right. Well, we have an artist to sell. How much are artists worth? Well, they're going to be worth at least three bucks at this point. The problem here is this artist, if you use his ability, He's not worth three bucks in the same way. He's only a one buck expenditure. And more than that, I'm not sure whether that even works. I guess it does. I spend the three bucks or whatever to red, and then a buck goes in from the bank into him. Whatever. But yeah, I wanna I wanna put that for sale. Let's see if green's willing to go three. They are. Are they willing to go higher than three for an initial bid? They're going to go three and a half to open things up. Are we going to go four? We have a decent amount of artists. Um, but, our, you know, we could, we could support a, another artist conceivably. Um, so it might be worth it. Yeah, he's going to go to four. Uh, blue. Blue doesn't really have an interest in artists. They, they don't want to spend their money on this because then they get sucked into the must always generate money for them. Okay. So are we willing to go to five with green? No, we're not. Oh, wait, no, four and a half. No, we're not. Uh, Oh, this guy doesn't have enough money. Three and a half was a perfect bid. It outbought him. So, yeah. Oops. That goes to red. For the artist. And I get to draw one. Now, the reason this is important is I'm planning on getting one. I get kind of a cheap guy. And since I don't have a lot of vic uh, routes to victory points, he's pretty good for me. 
I, I want artists just for that reason. Okay. Does red have anything to do with their newfound wealth? Well, it's not very much wealth. So they'll pass on that. Now, of course, they could refuse to auction what they've got if they want it. They don't have to auction it even if it's available to be auctioned. But usually it seems worth it. Zealand and Brabant. Okay. Brabant's over here, right? Yeah. And then Zealand and Brabant, blue and red, each get two bucks as the flow of money continues. And unfortunately, I didn't flip over all the green things. All right, so what's green's goal at this point? Is it to get another boat? I don't think that's as big a goal as getting this artist. How do I get that artist? Hmm. Nobody seems to be selling greens off. I'm worried yellow will be my competition if I'm not careful. So I guess what I want to do is I want to... Wow, I have very little money. How'd that happen? <laughs> I bought an artist. All right, I guess I got to make money. There's two bucks. I'm guaranteed to make one off this. Ah, oh, I make big money. 27 bucks, that helps. Now I can invest my three bucks and draw another one. Maybe I'll get lucky here. Nah, got another 27. Such is. All right. But I want to focus on getting Utrecht because I'm not going to get another shot at that. Let's do this. Uh, that is not this. So I've got to spend money to do this. I've got to spend four bucks to put a marker there, kick red out of there. Then I got to spend five bucks using that to take Utrecht. Now the question is, I might as well use this. <laughs> I, what I was going to ask is, do I want to take from here? No, I don't want to take from there. These guys aren't doing me any good at all. All right. Now, I can spend this power and a buck to give that to him. I should keep these so that the price is visible if they don't have it. Oh, uh, and what next? Well, my only other power is my boat. I'll buy my boat. Don't want to go to waste with that. And that's going to produce money still if I can get something. Right now I'm actually pretty likely to do so. But I get another sailor instead. Hmm. All right. Do I want to spend my other money on something else? Grabbing the art colony could be valuable. Of course, it, the problem with doing that is it can be taken away from you. But I have money and other people don't. So I'm going to spend seven. Put that here. Boot yellow. And I spent enough to pull that. Uh, wait, instead of seven, I'm just going to spend this. That keeps me some extra cash. And now I've scored this guy. And I'll put him over here. He's worth four victory points. That seems like a good, good start to the, or a good move for the turn. Let's get yellow going. Yellow gets a nine. Over Jisland, Friesland, and yeah, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing these. All right, and let's see where they are. Over Jizzle is two for red, one for yellow. And Friesland is two for green. And now it's yellow's turn. Yellow doesn't have any guilds. All they have is a gray and a green. Their green 
not terribly useful. It looks like the only thing they can do for it of any value is there. Oh, I don't have a lot of money. Jesus, this is bad. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting kind of hosed out of this. Uh, let's spend three on a gray. Maybe that'll help me. I don't like the grays. Yeah, big contract there. I was kind of hoping for a boat or something, maybe. All right. And now we've got this, which we'll try to sell. Let's see if anybody wants it. This territory is pretty useless right now. All it does is generates the ability to build those. It is not worth much. And it's the only territory left. But... I may get some money off of it. So blue, blue. Blue's got a problem that they're not terribly interested in gaining this, but uh, the victory points for those things are worthwhile. So they're gonna go at two. Even though they're going next, they still have a decent reserve of money. How does red feel about that at two? Red's got a decent number of these. They're not going to win much over there, so these are kind of valuable to them. Red will pass. Green. Green is eaten up. They have as much as they want. So they're going to pass too, so that two bucks from blue is sufficient to get them, and they'll throw into Limburg where they get something. All right. Oh, that's good enough. My arm's getting tired. The camera's getting tired. So we'll send this one up.